special about the bio program at Pine Manor is that we're a small school with a small faculty, but we still offer a very strong major. We have courses that offer foundational learning in biology and chemistry. And the other thing that makes us distinctive, and I think the students like this, is our ability to partner with um, other entities in the Boston area, like uh, Tufts University Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences, and also with the Metropolitan College at BU. So the partnerships provide strength for our department by allowing our students to go out into the community and experience uh, up-to-date and real-time research labs. So that's what labs look for, so I feel like they're really preparing us for the real world. Um, my, one of the students in my class is already in a lab and they're paying for her to take the class. So if I already have a certificate, it makes me more appealing as a student and as an employee. What I really like about the biology program is the senior internship that we all do in our final year. I'm currently at Beth Israel with an OBGYN. I had my first shift with her this past Wednesday and it was great. It was amazing watching her counsel patients and just perform procedure. I want to be a doctor and that's why I chose biology. Well, I think what I hope the students gain when they take my course is how to become better learners. You might think that what I really want you to learn is all the content in the course, but actually the content is really just a framework. What I'm after is for you to develop yourself into continuous learners. And by that, as you know from having taken courses with me, I mean what is your system of learning? How do you define yourself as a learner? Are you surprised to hear that I'm not so much after course content as I am after learning? No, I think, I think anyone can go and study something and learn it and you know memorize it and send it back out for a test. But it's only the thing if you can make it your own. Like you say, if you can own the material and really apply it in the real world. Yes, there's a big difference between being familiar with material and having it make sense to you and internalizing and owning that material and being able to use it. It's the, the rule that you hear all the time, and I'm sure you hear it in other disciplines as well as science, which is see one, do one, teach one. Mm -hmm. And the notion is that you have to see one, or maybe one or two, and then you have to be able to do it yourself, and then you have to turn around and teach it. And that's certainly alive in the research and the clinical field as well.